Alright, hello there. It's been some time, I guess. Uh, I was discussing with Fiven the other day. I just thought it would be interesting to go through the backlog and show some interesting games, so here we go. Uh, this one is pretty interesting because it showcases like how you can play twins without like just killing the HQ. I guess we'll just get right in. It's then run away. Uh, there is no like major opening cheese like dog turn one. This is the version where that was possible, but you know, we're we're just gonna go into some more standard stuff. He goes for thief, and uh, I think I don't here. I choose to go merfolk over thief because like as player two, you would like delay decapping this one turn, and uh, I just value the merfolk a bit more. I can always get a thief later. Thieves have good synergy with twins, and but I think it's too early for them to sh to show that at least. Uh, let's see. He gets his late merfolk I uh, too. His commander is gonna be the first one to hit because he's P1, but you know that doesn't matter too much because I've uh, managed to send my commander on a path where they don't meet. So first turn, turn advantage isn't gonna be too strong this game. Well, I say that he goes back into my face. But that does mean I will have the econ early on, because I have these side villages and this one. He does pressure the center a bit more, but because like these villages are gonna get flipped a lot, they won't actually generate much and here, uh, I sword crit him, and that's enough to make him run, it, run apparently. It's a pretty good value. <laughs> Let's see. I did, so... You can say I have a very not-twins comp. Like, I went balloon, spears, I have merfolk over here. And now I go ballista. And, uh... Thief. <laughs> So usually with twins you'd expect stuff like knights to threaten the one turn kill on the HQ following the fire. But um, I'm not really a fan of doing this on this map because I think it's more fun to play the other way. Which We'll see. So now I get groove about the same time my ballista will become active and the spears are gonna help me like hold a strong position in front of it and this is basically a, a huge wall he would have to like spend groove and quite a bit of units to break through he will try uh, you can see he's already very scared of my ballista he's uh, <laughs> like this is based this isn't really relevant damage but he he, he recognizes the threat you know he did get a dragon, so it's, you know I, I'm gonna have to play around that, especially in the center with all that road. You can see I place the fire near the HQ, so there is still the threat of actually killing the HQ, uh, at least on this map. But I'm not gonna use that uh, much this game. Let's see, use the barge to block this side. <laughs> it's really annoying to deal with, uh, especially because like, like only dragon can one shot a barge really. Um, let's see, so for now we're a bit repositioning. Most interesting part will be once the fire actually gets growing and I mean I guess we can see the starts of what's happening right now. There's fire, fire here, which is making him ir it really complicated for him to actually attack me from above. But I am still like right next to his HQ, so he has to do something about it. So you can see this dragon could like maybe have gone for the port or this village or something, but instead stuck on defending duty, I guess. Wolfar is still a bit exposed over there, but that's fine can see like you see the combo with like this ballista basically 
covering over here and over here and then the fire preventing him from going more through the center where it's easier to travel and because of the fire I'm actually getting us around on this night which is pretty good because means it'll take quite a bit of effort for him to retake these villages down there alright so he's so scared of my ballista he's traced a dragon for it which um, this ballista did, did actually only hit Wolfar so far <laughs> I think and uh, he, he's just going you know what I'm having none of that and just goes for it the fire is still active which means it's gonna be a little complicated for him to actually get a um, get a relevant push onto my HQ uh, it's still a bit dangerous so I come back with the twins the dragon is dead so you know I can stand on roads again and uh, you know <laughs> the classic formation of if you step into the fire to attack me you die this harpy is, <laughs> is in a good spot for that because there's only one mage and I mean the mage won't reach the balloon anyways See, so he does take over my port um, I did make a dragon in anticipation of that because like the danger when the port is taken over is that merfolk can start like hitting from the sea right next to it Dragon is a good answer for that. They're still the harpy, so that mage going down to the fire actually is, you know, very, very handy because a mage in the forest is usually quite a pain, pain to deal with, even if like you, it's really exposed, it still deals quite a bit of counter. And here, now that the fire is gone, I it goes out on my turn which means I get the big engagement first and I do quite a bit of damage dragon is also here now so Wolfar can't like stand around and brawl forever he will die eventually if he does that and and like while the fire was going on I did like hold these two villages for like basically the entire time which is which is a big deal. I it meant I could afford the dragon, the witch, and like. And now I throw the second fire, going, you know what? I'll do it again. I'll just do it again. The ballista isn't here yet, but I think the dragon is also works a lot as a area denial on Den Runway because of all the road. And now like. The fire is pressuring him to defend the HQ again. And I'm like, okay, you stay over there. I'm gonna grab the thief over here. I'm gonna grab the sport, send the dragon to defend there. I'm like, you know, you can you can sit around your HQ. I'm just gonna do my stuff and take take some economy and some small wins on the sides basically. It does mean that like is open to go back down in this opening uh, he has to be careful because <laughs> once the fire grows it'll be harder to go back up to defend his HQ I don't think I'm gonna like play for the HQ right now I think I'm just going to like grab this entire side because he can't like move up yep <laughs> dark crit plus dragon to decap And then I'm positioning here, basically. Ballista is here once again. So he's gonna have a hard time pushing into this. Basically the most he, he will be able to get is the few villages here. But this Ballista means it's gonna be really hard to push into the HQ again. Let's see. Basically, um, this Ballista and all the mer and like Merfolk, which there's like a lot of stuff that's pretty dangerous. Now we see the dog plus the dragon to take out the port. <laughs> uh, and yeah, the the classic uh, stand on the edge of the fire, and then next turn I get to go in. And uh, this HQ is looking pretty vulnerable. It won't die, but since I can take up like 
Oh, he barge bombs, which is like a really cool play with Wolfar. He actually deals quite a bit of damage with it too. Um, only issue is uh, there's like three Merfolk crits incoming, so yeah. But I mean, Wolfar didn't have really much else to go. He had to go ov over here because like there was fire onto his HQ and if he if he did like retreat to defend uh, he would have entered a very passive position once again and with me already having the lead taking everything up north the ballista getting ready to push back the south long term I mean not so long term actually but once the fire goes out I probably get a very hard pressure onto the HQ once again my groove was ready at for a third time as well so you know that was a showcase of uh, how twins can be used uh, more as a control tool than just a uh, killing DHQ tool here it works really well because you know there's DHQ right there so you can't so you, it also forces the opponent to defend but I think this is a way of playing twins that I've seen like a few times but not that much. Basically, splitting up the map can be strong if you're ready for it. Like you need, you need, you need to be looking a few turns into the future, I'd say. But this is just—it's really satisfying to pull it off, and <laughs> I guess that's like <laughs> one game out of my fifty or so in the replay in the replays and uh yeah that was the first one i i'll see if i ever do a second goodbye